Hello friends, we are going to learn about Laplace transformation in circuit theory. So when we are given a function, so we have to find its Laplace. So first of all, we have to learn some basic functions. So this is step function or you can say step signal. As you can see here, the in step signal, it is just a constant line or uh, the constant to the x axis. So its equation, suppose this amplitude is A. So its equation for t greater than or equal to a and for t less than or equal to 0 equal to 0. So obvious it's Laplace a by s. Similarly uh, you can make it unit step where value of a or amplitude is 1. So it is just like so you it's Laplace will uh, it's Laplace will be 1 by s and for t greater than 0 it is clearly uh, visible that it is 1 and for for remaining it is 0 now we had delete step function it means it starts after some interval as you can see I have taken that interval t so it is starting after t interval it means f t minus t is equal to a which is equal to amplitude for t greater than t and it is 0 for less than t capital T or the time period which I have chosen okay now in a similar similar way for delayed unit step function the combining the effects of both unit step and delayed so it is ft minus t for here it will be 1 for t small t greater than capital T that is ft minus t equal to 1 for t greater than capital T which is time period and for remaining it is 0 it's a RAM function RAM function is just a straight line for t greater than 0 it is t and for remaining it is 0 and we know that Laplace of t Laplace of t to the power n is factorial n or gamma function n plus 1 okay by s to the power n plus 1 so therefore it comes 1 upon s square similarly for delayed RAM function it starts after t interval so t greater than t f t minus t is equal to t and for remaining it is 0 ok now we have ram plus step function so it is it is as you can see it is just following the equation t plus a so for t greater than 0 is a t plus a and for remaining it is 0 and here we have parabolic function ft is equal to at square for t greater than 0 and it is 0 for t less than or equal to 0 now most important function which is our gate function any function which you see like this or type of this 0 from 0 to t the function exists it is the example of gate function from 0 of time, uh, your t uh, less than time period but greater than 0 it is some constant or here it is amplitude and for remaining it is 0 ok so if you want to find this type of function what we can do we can subtract a delayed step function from a unit step function ok as you can see if we subtract this from this we get this so it's the function the main function which we get from which we get for this gate function or you can say yes for gate function we will get this equation and for finding the Laplace of different functions we will multiply that specific function of that graph with some these function so generally we use gate function if we have some situation between 0 to some interval okay but you can also have this scenario when it starts from t1 and t2 then it will become a u t minus t1 minus u t minus t2 okay this can also be scenario when your starting point of uh, that function has some delay t1 and ending is obvious ending will also have some delay it is generally kind of impulse function okay so this is the equation